Stroud leads the Texans to one of their best wins, upsetting the Bengals 30 to 27 in Cincy. And I'm saying one of their best wins of the season. They could have more really good wins this season, but that seat, that game right there was the game right there to show you that, okay, this Texas team is a live dog when it comes to possibly snatching that final playoff spot or possibly sneaking up and stealing the AFC South from the Jaguars, who we'll get to them in a second, did not look like a division uh, leader at all yesterday against the San Francisco 49ers. But the Houston Texans, they look like they could win this division. They've already beaten the Jaguars, and they didn't just beat them. They beat them down. They come into um, Cincinnati, and they played fearless. They went down seven uh, zip real quick. Joe Burrow threw a beautiful touchdown pass. You know, it, it gives you the idea, okay, things are about to start rolling for Cincinnati. Then right after that, Cincinnati punt the, punted the ball, I think, eight or nine times in a row. And they had a turnover as well, too. Joe Burrow threw two really bad in interceptions yesterday as well, too. CJ threw one in the uh, closing minutes that was pretty bad as well that, you know, enabled the game to get tied. But all in all, though, CJ had a game of games, and he had the game that you're supposed to have as a rookie quarterback, but he took it to the next level. That's what made it so special. Um, yesterday, he goes off. He had 200 passing yards in the first half. Then he finishes up the game with 356 yards on 23 of 39, and then goes ahead, throws a touchdown pass. He finished up with an 87.1 QBR. That that that's there's more to be desired there, but he got a great effort from Devin Singletary, a guy that was kind of thrown away by the Buffalo Bills. He was able to get 150 yards on 30 carries yesterday. That's an old school. Um, three yards in a cloud of dust type of performance right there and chew up that clock. And then Noah Brown again had a big, big game, seven catches, 172 yards. And this is the second week in a row he went over 150 yards and got at least six catches or better. And this guy is just absolutely tremendous in the last two weeks. And that's just was just on display yesterday. The guy just kept finding ways to get open yesterday. And it was absolutely amazing. Dalton Schultz, uh, who's been one of the surest targets for uh, CJ all year long, gets four catches on 71 uh, yards. And then one of his favorite uh, um, targets, period, uh, Tank Dell, goes ahead and scores another touchdown yesterday, gets six catches with 56 yards yesterday. So they had a big, big day. Joe Burrow, um, 27 to 40, 347 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions on 90.3 QBR, and then he was sacked four times yesterday. That was the difference in the game because, you know, the Texans defense came to – play even though they gave up 27 points they still came to play and rankins had himself a game of games yesterday that's what made it even more incredible that they got that type of effort out of the, one of their defensive tackles the way that they did and um joe mixon kind of was was uh held in check yesterday 11 yard 11 uh carries 46 yards, a touchdown. You would have wanted more from Joe Mixon, but they had to play from behind. That's why you got it. Joe Burrow throwing the ball 40 times. Jamar Chase, absolutely incredible for his fantasy owners yesterday. Five catches, 124 yards with the touchdown. T. Boy dropped a big touchdown that would have put the uh, Bengals ahead, and um, he had eight catches for 117 yards yesterday. But T. Higgins was definitely missing yesterday because he opens up so much on the offensive end for this team. And um, you know what? You know who was really missing yesterday in my uh, estimate? was Hubbard. Hubbard is so big on the defensive front. He makes things happen for Hendrickson and Pratt to really make their plays, and he makes life a lot easier on their DBs who got absolutely carved yesterday. So, you know, all in all, C.J. Stroud is making some great strides in the NFL right now. I'm not going to say he's the MVP of the league because we have to understand the first two weeks he did get a lot of junk uh, stats because those games were already over with. But when it comes down to everything else after that, he's been an absolute gem. He's been an absolute stud, and he keeps this team in games, and he gives you that idea that the Texans got this one right. So with that, we move forward. Let's go ahead and jump into our next topic, which is going to be this, which is going to be the 